All right, what's up, everyone? This is Will Fox, and I'm going to be talking about the character select theme from Multiple Type Lumina. So I'm going to be breaking down all the chords and all yeah, like just music theory nonsense and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, just going to jump right into it. Uh, let me. I'll, I'll play through it, and then I'll just talk about the sections. I guess there's like four sections if you count the intro. So if you go like uh. <laughs> That's more or less it, right? <laughs> that was pretty shitty. <laughs> but I have a video of me um, of just like the the sh the synthesia playing it, so it's like um, you know perfect and all that. But I'll talk about the sections uh, one by one. So what's going on in this song? Well, this song is mainly in D, uh, meaning two sharps, um, and. Um, but before I jump into that, let me talk about the intro real quick. So this intro is a really cool. It is really cool. Like, so uh, this is really interesting. So we have like a slash chord. So um, on screen, I'm seeing like some chord name that I'm, I don't I don't care about. So uh, what I see is uh, an F mainly over G. So on my left hand, I'm just playing like mad G down here, two Gs. And then I'm just going up the, I'm using the exact same voicing and uh, we're just going up like this minor path. So we're like just going like, which is really cool. Oops. And that's really, that's really cool because um, in music, if you have like a, a really specific voicing, you can go into like, uh, you could go outside of the key, if you will. Uh, because like that same exact voicing will just make everything just sound connected, even though we're like, you know, like going elsewhere. Like a lot of this stuff is not in D. None of that's in D, I guess. Yeah. And then there's this little swish up here, like that's so cool. Um, the way that I remember this, this kind of looks like a E flat major seven with this E flat like inverted up here. You, you see what I mean? And then I just take like this uh, G, like the third, and I just bring it down. So it's like a uh, sus two, I guess. Like, so we have two, five, seven, and one. That's just how I see it. The, the software says something else, but I, I just look at it like that, which is really cool because we're on this C on the bass. And, um, it, what's a really cool thing to do is uh, to play, there's a really cool way to play like um, minor nine chords. So I like, uh, that's like the most straightforward to play like C minor nine. And what you can do is um, you can divide it, and this is gonna be happening a lot. You can divide it where uh, you have like the root of the chord here. And then um, you could just play the extension building from the third, so one, two, three, and then um, you just play like a major seven. So like a lot of times when I'm like playing like uh, like these spread voicings, I'm just taking like the root in the, in the left hand, and then I'm just building from the third because like uh, you don't really need uh, like, I don't know. Uh, long story short, it's really fun to like play like a, like this inverted, you see like this E? How like instead of having a uh, that you can have like uh, the E in second inversion, the E flat. That's really cool. So it's kind of it's kind of similar to that. Uh, that's just the intro. Uh, I could keep talking more and more about that, but um, the next section 
is uh like the real meat of the song. So like we're in um like I said we're in D. And um we're we're just um bouncing between we're just like uh vamping between like the the T chord and the one chord. So like um so like E E minor to a D. But I like uh I think the song is actually E minor um E minor nine and Remember what I said the second ago about like the bass of a of a minor nine, and then you take like the third and play like a major seven. You can do that. And a lot of the melody, I'm kind of like, I'm just taking that like part, like that upper extension, like this G major seven, and I'm kind of like finishing like that. So a lot of like those little swooshes. That's what I chose to do. I they could be different from the actual song, but that's just what I'm doing. Um, and let's just talk about the structure. So, like, there's, like, this really cool, like, uh, rhythm going on, like. And then it goes from there. But, um, uh, <laughs> this song is kind of tricky because I didn't know how to, um, like keep that rhythm while playing the melody while having like a big ass like minor nine chord so what i'm doing is i'm kind of like playing like like the bass like the two e's are like my left hand and then uh, i'm doing like uh the, the extension right here so i'm just hitting it real quick uh i'm not sure if you can quite see my hands per se <laughs> But um, pretty much I'm just like. So that that was like the tricky part about it, just like bouncing back and forth. But uh, yeah, um, to analyze the, the melody real quick, um, it's just building off the chord. All melodies pretty much build off the chord. And we're kind of like uh, pivoting around this uh, F sharp. Which is really cool. Um, which really hi highlights like that, um, that color of the chord. That, uh, that major nine. Minor nine, excuse me. So... So this chord, like the D major seven, <laughs> that's so cool. So it kind of makes like a nine <laughs> major nine. Again, you can just think about the third of the chord. So like we have D right here, and then I can just think, which is really cool because you could just play like arpeggios and a lot of patterns just with that like that extension. Uh, if you were to improvise, like so, like. I'm pretty much just playing those four notes. I'm kind of approaching, uh, oh, I'm using other notes to approach those notes, but I'm just uh, targeting those notes. So you can do the same thing with like this, um, this. By the way. That's the same chord as uh you know you know what if you know what song that is comedy in a section in the fucking thing <laughs> anyway anyways anyways back to um back to the song um that's pretty much is all that's going on so the second time uh, the melody plays it's like So the same T chords to the left hand pretty much, but the, the difference here is I'm like uh, approaching D. So I'm on this chord. So yeah, that's just the switch I chose. So like just straight up D. 
And then, um, yeah. Yeah, so see how, like, we have this, like, F sharp? Like, that's just all I'm thinking about. So, yeah, I just keep the root in the left hand, and then, like, the right hand, uh, pretty much, it, it, like, if I, if I know what note I'm, like, or what sound or what chord I'm, like, targeting, um, remembering the melody is kind of easy because you kind of just use, like, all of the keys that's diatonic to uh, D, right? Like, uh, as long as I'm using like, these, these two, these uh, two sharps, like uh, F, uh, F sharp and C sharp, you can just do whatever you want. It's gonna sound good. You can even go out and use everything, but uh, I could go on and on and on about that. But that that section is pretty simple. Like, like the next section, I really like um, this, like. Before I go further, uh, this section is really cool because it's the same exact line repeated over and over and over, right? So um, it's really, this is a really good thing to like practice as, as far as like um, learning how to change keys. Because like uh, in this section, we're kind of like in the key of G, then we're in the key of A, then we're in the key of B, which by the way are all G, A, B, which are all whole tones uh, apart. And what do I mean about like being in the key uh, of that? Even though I'm not like um, resolving to a G chord per se, like so, like if I go back, um, so I have like A. If I were to, it resolves. But that's like that's where it comes from. That so just knowing where um, what scale like is available, it helps with improv and helps with like just knowing the melody in general and which is a really cool concept that I've been working on personally is um, understanding my keys by counting the number of sharps or flats. So um, when it comes to key changes, you could just do operations with that. So now I'm converting it to numbers where it's like, uh, in G we have uh, one sharp and then we're gonna continuously add two sharps. So one, then three, then five. So I'm going to talk about, like, I'll break that down further. So, like, um, so right now we have, like, one, right? So these are all naturals. That's why sharp. So I only care about, like, uh, F sharp. And then um, now we're going to add two. So we're at three. So, like, um, the, the sharps here are... F sharp, G sharp, and C sharp, right? And I know that this comes from like the A, from A, you know? And you do it one more time, and then now you have five, so you're at. And I know that comes from B. So one, two, three, four, five give all of them <laughs> so that's just a little something that i've been working on personally so this line um it literally starts at the same degree so like what i remember is like we're basically uh two five and like if you think of jazz theory like two five two five two five we just never go to one um and on the t chord you're starting at the root of the t chord and you're resolving to the third of the uh five chord it might sound overly complicated, but like when I just look at it, like, oh, <laughs> oh, wait, we're actually resolving to the one of the other chord. That's that's where the third is coming from. So, and then the exact same thing. So, like root of the B. And then we're on the E. So going from the third up to the fifth and then going down to the root, you know? And then the same exact formula, like the C sharp. And now we're going to the third of the F sharp, resolving to the root of that one. So that, that section is really cool. It, it's really fun to like uh, take a line and like uh, transpose it over and over. 
transpositions, you could think, like, again, you could think about it as, like, uh, an operation, like, adding two sharps, adding two sharps. The inverse is also true, um, adding two flats. So if we were to go downwards, I, uh, this is off the cuff. I have not practiced this. So, like, if we went, like, oops. Oh, cool. Uh, that would be, no, it's... Oh man, you know what? I have uh, three flats. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That'd be going downwards, but yeah, you could just like, experiment with that and just like do whatever you want. Um, that's really cool. That's really cool. So I hope that section makes sense. <laughs> I feel like I'm so bad at uh, uh, describing all this stuff. This is just what how I think of it. Okay, so the final section is really cool. It's another 2-5, but it's a minor 2-5 from um, um, C-sharp to F-sharp. So, oh, excuse me, uh, I think it's D-sharp, right? To G-sharp. Okay, so this is like 2-5-ing to uh, C-sharp. If you will. So, like... That last section, um, I don't know, like, as, as far as the chord progression, yeah, it's like... And then we're going to B. I don't really get what this is doing, though, to be honest with you, off the top of my head. It's like, now we have, like, another sharp. So C sharp minor has, uh, four sharps, right? So, like, why do we have an F sharp here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to think about that right now. <laughs> this is so dramatic. Like, when I play on the piano, it's like... I should learn how to play that on piano. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, if there's any questions about uh, anything that, that I talked about, if anything didn't make any sense or anything like that, I could keep talking more and more. I'm trying not to, like, overcomplicate it. I'm just talking about how I think about it. Um, and just what I like to do is um, I, I exercise a lot of different, uh, like, fundamentals. Um, personally, like, I know how to play in every key. And um, I know how to play all my majors, all my minor keys. And just knowing, like, um, just knowing, like, how many sharps are, or rather, uh, if I have three sharps, what key am I in? I'm in, like, I'm in A. But I guess that could also mean, like, well, you could also be, like, in B Dorian and C sharp Phrygian. And, you know, you could go on and on. But um, just, like, just basics, just basics, like, just knowing how many sharps are in every key, how many flats are in every key. And just knowing what everything's called, and then uh, I guess secondary dominance if you want. But uh, <laughs> but uh, that's about it. So if there's any other songs that you, this is a request from Patreon, by the way. If you, if you guys have any other requests about like other stuff you want to see me like break down and or just play, um, I can talk about that real quick. Real talk. I've been like really digging like. Uh, um, <laughs> Off topic. <laughs> Anyways, I just want to play way more piano stuff, and uh, I feel like my skills are like you know improving, still improving, and yeah. So that's about it. Uh, you know, you know where to find me. Take care. <laughs>